Well, how about this, John? From the outside, a classic red Wisconsin barn, but inside, jam from floor to the rafters with nothing but vintage collectibles. Have you ever seen anything to this level or magnitude? In a word, Matt, no. It is simply incredible. Another one of the galleries completely jam-packed with vintage collectibles from A to Z. Right, that is all here at Elmer's Auto and Toy Museum in Fountain City, Wisconsin. And John, I gotta say, Elmer really had a eye for his pedal cars collection, collection. And some of the ones that are jumping out at me are the vintage planes. You know, we talk a lot about the vintage pedal cars, and I think a lot of people often associate cars and trucks, right. but it's so important to note that they were not limited to that. And it's neat to see that young, youngsters were given the opportunity to cruise around their favorite planes in addition to some of their other vehicles. Right, and down below that, we've got vintage race cars. We've got a really cool red quarter midget that actually saw duty in Iowa. And then as you move along down the collection, look at the variety we have here. More of your vintage airplanes. We've got vintage pedal cars. We've got a miniature Vespa scooter, more bicycles. We've got vintage tractors, miniature tractors. And look at all of the vintage sleds. Have you ever seen so many in one spot? I have not, John, <laughs> but so cool. And so neat to see that people are out there collecting and preserving the, those. Now I know here we've got a stack of some, some micro cars, John. What's the story on these? <laughs> yeah, that's a vintage go-kart up at the top and then two vintage quarter midgets down below that. I love these. Uh, relics of the past and kind, kind of interesting these vintage go-karts are still being raced today. Now we talked about Elmer's love of pedal cars and here you can see again the diversity and the presentation that's one of the other stunning things about his collection is that it really was displayed well for people to appreciate and enjoy. Now John well, this pedal car up here you were drawn to it, but the first question I have are, who are the guys riding in it? Yeah, that's Laurel and Hardy, Matt, and they're out having a good time in a 1920s vintage Gendron Cadillac pedal car with a lot of originality. Look how cute that looks. Well, and that really is another common theme with all of what Elmer collected is that originality you spoke to. Right. And one of the stack of pieces that screams with that originality are these wagons. Now, I gotta say, John, I feel like all of us have memories of being a kid riding one of these metal wagons, but I really love how over the years you could get some special editions with some branding with some of the major movie and TV franchises, including Davy Crockett and Zorro. How cool to be the kid in your neighborhood riding around the Zorro wagon. Yeah, exactly. And just to really kind of drive home the point, Matt, is so many of these items are in such good original condition. That's going to mean a lot to collectors. Right. And they will have the opportunity to bid on them at the upcoming Mecham auction when they sell at no reserve. Right.